Ready. Hi, Diane. Hi, Lane. How are you doing, hon? I'm doing great. Good. So Diane is one of our boot camp graduates, and she has graciously offered to share her story. And so Diane, I'm going to ask you, why did you decide to join the Perfectly Imperfect Body Image Boot Camp? Well, someone that I trusted and that I have a lot of regard for came to me and we talked, at first she messaged me and then we talked and I saw these huge changes in her. And I saw her opening up and being more comfortable and being really present with herself and willing to be open with me. Um, and she said that this would probably be something that I'd be interested in. So I listened and um, there's a lot about myself that I hadn't accepted over the years. And I decided that this, it was time for me to embrace myself. And so that was my decision was to embrace myself. And that started the whole thing. Awesome. So tell us what was your one big goal when you started boot camp? My one big goal is that I had been stuck in a place in my life for a long time. I had never really accepted myself, uh, my body, uh, and I wanted to respect myself and start to stand up for myself. And I was in a relationship, a long-term relationship that I felt like I needed to stand up for myself and quit being shamed and walk away proud. And I was able, I was able to do that. I was able to do some good work. So you left your husband? I did leave my husband. Which After was how many years of an unhappy marriage? 30 years of an unhappy marriage. And how 30, scary was that for you? That was the scariest thing I'd ever done in my life. I had thought about it for many, many years. I had wanted to leave, but I did not have the self-confidence to walk out the door. I didn't think that I would be okay. I didn't, I just didn't believe in myself. So what shifted for you during the boot camp that kind of helped you get to that point where you're like, all right, I'm done. One of the things was the huge support that I got from the other ladies and from you, Elaine, during boot camp. Um, I found out that I wasn't alone in this and that uh, with our things in our workbook and, and the videos, I, started to understand that I was worthwhile and that I was worth this. And so I came to know myself and take that step mm -hmm. because that step was hard, but I was told and I, I believed that I was surrounded by people that were giving me encouragement that I'd always needed. So what was the, what was uh, one of your biggest takeaways from, from boot camp? One of my biggest takeaways from boot camp is that I'm enough and that I've always been enough and that I don't need to measure up to somebody else's goals, that my, what I feel about myself is much more important than what anybody else feels about me. And so to be able to look at myself honestly and see that I'm a good person, that I'm a beautiful person, irregardless of, of body shape or size or whatever, that I can love each individual part of me and love myself as a whole. That was my biggest takeaway. So how did you do with the naked mirror challenges? The naked mirror challenge, actually, I think I did pretty good. I had some. I know. I loved, yeah, <laughs> I had some great ones. I did. I even did a, um, I put, I put positive reinforcements on my mirror in the bathroom and I, I took some selfies in the bathroom and I saw myself go from looking doubtful in the beginning to really, I saw a radiance in myself that it's like, it's working. 
It's yeah. working. I am, I am getting to the place where I can love myself. And after my whole life, I, from the time I was in kindergarten, I had been put on constant diets and told that I wasn't good enough and that no one would ever want me, you know, just awful thing. Mm. And I was able to let go of so much of that and just say, hey, that person in that mirror is me and she's good. I like her. She's beautiful. She's, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So what would you tell someone who is maybe on the fence about boot camp? You have a possibility of finding the best friends that you've ever made in your life. You have a definite, you're, the one thing is you're going to find yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to find that best part of you that's been there all the time and you and you get to nurture that and bring that flower water and watch yourself bloom. It's a really special thing. Our support group that we have is just something that I, and I tell people it, it didn't start out that way. It was never like part of the, part of the plan. Um, it happened by accident and it's the best happy accident I've ever had is being, it, I just love it so much. And it doesn't end. It's no. like, it's like boot camp doesn't end. It doesn't you end. You graduate from your boot camp and then you find yourself surrounded by people that are supportive, that have been where you are and that will listen to what's going on with you and just go on with you in your life. And, and suddenly you have this support of women a lot sometimes um, you don't find support in that way and in this way you you find support you find love you find acceptance you find acceptance without um, there's not drama there as far as you know who's better than who we're mm -hmm. all together all in it together we're all in it together and we all want the best for each other mm -hmm. So what did you think about um, the, the movie Embrace that we watched? The movie Embrace, um, I really loved the movie and I really got a lot out of it. I found myself doing something strange during Embrace. I, I was watching Embrace and, and you know, the body types and all this kind of stuff. And, and I actually put my, help, my own self through this little thing during Embrace. It's like, yeah, that's all good because, but they have good hair, you know? <laughs> I can accept the body thing, but oh, they ha they're better than me. And then it's like, and then somewhere during the movie, I was like, it just got me this like, why do you continue to dissect yourself? Yes. And, and you know, stop. Right. Stop. Stop, yes. stop, stop the negative talk. Right. And start to speak positively about yourself and to, to love yourself. Because I honestly don't think until you love yourself that you can really have big expectations for others to really love you. Right. Um, I think that that attracts people to you whenever you love yourself. The law of attraction. That's a beautiful Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So any last words of advice or encouragement before we, before we finish? My last word of encouragement is that it seems like a big investment, but what is the most important thing in your life but yourself? For once, invest in yourself. You're important. You're valuable. And this is something that... It, it doesn't wear out. It lasts a lifetime. So mm -hmm. love yourself enough to make that commitment to yourself. Yes. It Thank works. you so much, Diane, for sharing with us today. It was my pleasure. I appreciate it so much. So thank you again. And um, I will see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay.